Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, here with a quick breakdown for you guys and showing you guys how the Atlanta Falcons have been using Ken O'Neill the proper way, man. He's been blitzing. He's been um, using this athleticism a lot better. He's more confident uh, coming back from a torn ACL as well as a torn Achilles, man. And he's definitely um, showing signs of just being his old self, knocking not only his own players out, but he's knocking guys out, man. Um, he's, as a lot of people saying that, not only just Jeff Ulbrick, but a lot of guys saying he's just forcing the defense to think twice about coming across the middle, about, you know, catching the ball and turning up field, man. He's, he's that intimidator, all right? Every defense needs an intimidator, and Keanu Neal is without a doubt that for us. So we're going to get straight into the breakdown, and this is a blitz. Um, so you guys check this play out. Now, this blitz is coming from the A-gap. Um, and this is a play where I think this is just how the Atlanta Falcons should use Keanu Neal, man. Um, his athleticism, his ability to hit and just intimidate not only the quarterback, but the but the running backs. All right. It forces the running backs, forces the quarterbacks to you know, account for him. You have to account for a guy like this because, again, man, you just don't want to uh, – you really just don't want him to come free and knock <laughs> your quarterback out of out of whack. But, man, this is a, a great blitz coming up the A-gap. Um, it's just exactly the way you should be using him, man. He's a physical guy. He loves to hit. He loves to intimidate, man. And um, Jeff Ulbrich and Raheem Morris, they should continue to see this. Let's go on to the next play for you guys. Now, here's a play where Keanu Neal, for me personally, I think this is where he is showing not only his accelerate, uh, acceleration, excuse me, um, but he's showing his ability to read and react. And this is um, something that you just like to see, not only from a safety, but especially a strong safety, man. Strong safety is... Um, not only one who has to focus on tight ends, but at times you have to worry about running backs coming out of the backfield as well as receivers and the slot. So he has to recognize a lot of things uh, underneath. And um, if you don't have a safety who has the ability to do this, you're going to get picked apart. And um, having a guy like Keanu Neal who already sh has that ability to hit, but that intimidation factor just adds to the problem. So we're going to show you guys, going to show you guys where he read and reacts to a, a screen underneath um, and he diagnoses it and he definitely punishes the running back. So this is absolutely amazing by Keanu. So let's check this one out. So here you have Keanu Neal um, playing strong safety and he's diagnosing the play the running backs. Um, he does a good job of selling um, the the screen and whatnot. Uh, but Keanu Neal, man, if Keanu Neal doesn't see this immediately, and you know the Falcons, this is another uh, this is another angle. But if he doesn't diagnose it, this play definitely goes for a big time. We're talking about a big time um, game. But Keanu Neal, man, th like this is what he's showing f not only for this team and the reason why the team is. You know, it's definitely improving. Um, but, man, he's showcasing a reason why the Falcons should not only, you know, bring him back and, you know, showcasing his ability to not only be a leader on the field, man, but this is just classic, man. This is what you want out of your, your strong safeties, man, is to hit, diagnose plays, and absolutely punish ball players, man. And if you don't have this play for Keanu Neal, man, like I said before, this goes for a big gain. And having a guy that not only your running backs have to think twice about, um, your quarterbacks have to think twice about putting these guys in a position where they don't get their damn head knocked off. And um, like I said, man, Keanu Neal, he continues to play like this. Um, I could definitely see the Atlanta Falcons bringing him back for at least another freaking year. Um a contract somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three years have him um it's a proof it deal for the Atlanta Falcons, um, Keanu Neal. And I just wanna know what you guys think, man. Do you think Keanu Neal is back? Um leave your comments below, man, because 
like I said, man, if he continues to play like this and the Atlanta Falcons defense um, continue to, um, you know, playing a much better under the guidance of Raheem Morris, Jeff Obrick, man, be, these guys being more aggressive, um, sh do you think they should at least, you know, think about bringing Raheem Morris back at uh, for the head coaching job. Leave me your comments below. Do not forget that subscribe button. But your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.